photographs we've seen of the aircraft suggest that there's been a failure of the high energy rotating section of the number two engine. It's clear to see that there's a hole on the underside of the wing and a hole on the upper surface of the wing where some kind of engine debris has gone through. Uh, also notable is the fact that uh, the aircraft when it arrived at Singapore's Changi Airport uh, appeared to have the landing gear doors open um, suggesting there may have been an emergency deployment of the landing gear. Also notable is the fact that the leading edge slats are not deployed however the trailing edge flaps are deployed. We'll have to wait for the investigation to progress to find out more information uh, about the reasons for this. Engine failures like this are extremely rare. Um, they do happen very occasionally um, involving uh, engines from all of the engine manufacturers. The engines are of course designed to very strict uh, criteria which means um, it, sh it should be very uh, difficult or very unusual for engine debris to be able to exit the engine in this way. So the investigators will be very keen to determine whether or not this is due to some sort of uh, manufacturing issue. There have been incidents in the past where uncontained failures have uh, occurred because of uh, some kind of glitch uh, in the materials that are used in the engine that, that can remain there for several years in some cases and, and gradually propagates uh, with time. Uh, much more concerning of course would be for the investigators to determine that in fact there, there's some kind of uh, design issue with the engine but it is of course far too early to speculate on that uh, until the investigators have completed their work.